Hello everyone, this is Budgetarko and you're currently watching my tutorial video on how to deal with foreshortening of the arms. As requested by this person. Yay! Woo! Um, yeah, not gonna pronounce the name just because maybe the floor is there for a reason, don't worry, privacy and stuff. Anywho, as usual, I will sketch out the base and once we get to the arms, which is the subject of this tutorial, then uh, I'll start talking again. <laughs> Alright, see you then. <laughs> so this is just a catastrophe. Um, it, this is this is a result of me doing some tests to, uh, on the synchronization of audio and video. So uh, that's all. This this is also the result of me doing the entire tutorial pretty much with a mismatched uh, audio and video thing happening. I was I was trying to make it so that uh, we had a uh, just. One minute inter intervals, which meant smaller file sizes for my computer to handle, but apparently that didn't matter and it wasn't. It would be out of sync within 40 seconds, so I I looked up stuff and I fiddled with the controls and now it works! Yay! So that that's that. I get. To, I'm just. I'm making a shoulder right now. It's not actually mismatched. I'm just talking about something that's not related. Actually, hopefully it's not mismatched. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I completely went through all of this. I. Was, we had a great time. I'm sorry that you're not gonna be able to enjoy it, but it was it was wonderful. I was just talking and you were listening. Except no one's gonna listen anymore because. <laughs> That file is gone now. All gone. All gone. Anyway, uh, yeah. Good thing she has two hands, cause you know now we're gonna be able to make the other hand do all the, all the stuff that uh, foreshortening means and stuff. <clears throat> okay, so what I just did over here was I I made a palm-ish thing. Everything's really skinny because uh, she's kind of facing, or not, she's not facing us, but her hands are facing us and are really close to the viewer. Wow, that's a skinny thumb. I'm going to erase that immediately. I'm sorry. Um, yep. Uh, <coughs> I, I also mentioned in the other video that I'm getting kind of sick, like always in all of my videos. I'm always sick. This is horrible. The thing is, like, I, I haven't gotten sick in months, but uh, I guess uh, in all, all the, the whole year, pretty much. Months. Getting sick every month would suck. Just horribly. But anyway, ah, to the video. Here's what I'm doing. I, whoa, what, 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 oh, okay, sorry. I was, I had something selected that made it so that I wasn't able to draw on things that I wasn't selecting. And who's here is <coughs> sorry, I'm gonna be clearing my throat a bit. Hopefully not too much. It's kinda of annoying. I feel sorry for my classmates when I get sickish. Because I'm just <coughs> always clearing my throat. It's disgusting. Uh mom, 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 mom. So yeah, oh yeah, I was not paying attention or not paying attention, I wasn't saying what I was doing. These things are kind of like uh, the cross sections of your fingers and knuckles. So look at that, hey, yay, 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 yay. And as you can see, we're gonna do something similar to that. So here's like the inside of your knuckly parts. <laughs> and here are the, oh, these, these are the outsides, but anywho, we're gonna go over here. And uh, kind of similar to this, not similar, exactly the same, but since I'm not consistent as drawing, we're just gonna <coughs> pretend that they're supposed to be different. Yeah. Okay, so there's one finger, here's another finger, here's another finger, and there's the pinky. I am going to do a, a 
cut the video right now, just in case if that little fix that I did didn't actually fix it. I'll be back in half a second. Half a second! Whoa, okay. Um, that is that. More fingers. All the fingers. Don't get too carried away by the... For the sake of foreshortening of uh, making the tips of her fingers fat because uh, they generally don't get too affected by it. Unless if like you have someone just bop up against the the window. Not the window, but the screen and be like, oh, that's my thumb. But I, oh gosh, that was disgusting and gross. Anyway, I'll not draw big things ever again. And uh, there's that. There's a little fold in the hand because, you know, people's hands fold. This is just a thing of life, I guess. Here's part of the palm. Let's erase some of these initial guideline guide guiders. Uh, and I think we're getting close to the end. What is that? Oh, that's just the guideline. And yeah look at that guys it's not letting me go to my eraser okay there it is there it is <coughs> and um yep i guess a quick overview is uh you know just the whole thing about foreshortening is that uh i'm bad at drawing thumbs I don't know. Anyway, uh, the whole thing about foreshortening is that as something gets closer to you, it'll look like it is, uh, you know, getting further. Like, normally, you would draw a prism or something like that, but with the foreshortening rules, it would go towards a vanishing point, which is, I guess, all of or shortening, having the vanishing point there. Yeah, because I know like in uh, 3D modeling and stuff, you usually have two views, one which you can draw something like that, or view something as that with all the lines parallel and nice, but then the other one you can actually see the whole perspective thing going on, all coming from a common origin. The only difficult thing is that uh, this is not really a prism. It's more of a, a fleshy tube thing. I'm describing an arm right now, by the way. I'm gonna delete this guy. Press D. And I just realized I didn't actually finish the tutorial yet. Whoa, yeah! I'm great at talking. Uh, so yeah, this is this is like the cross-sectional area of the thickest part of her arm, uh, her forearm at least. Maybe a little right before the elbow, which is right you know, there-ish. As you can see, and over here, I did kind of the same thing. I'm just kind of acknowledging that it's there. Her wrist would be fairly huge mangas over here. If you look at your own wrist, it's not circular, right? It's gonna be slightly elliptical or ovalish. And uh, that just goes on to a... I'm gonna draw it over here. Yeah, yeah. See? There would be like the cross section of her wrist. Ba -ba. Here would be her elbow. And there's her shoulder. As you can see, they kind of... <clears throat> it gets bigger as it gets to the wrist, just depending on the the pose that you choose at least. And then it gets uh, a bit smaller as it gets to the shoulder, if we're talking about the elbow. But that's not really a thing. So, well, yeah, that's, that's gone. We have both of the hands. Just kind of... Oh yeah, the whole reason for this pose is that... You know, she's telling us to give her her the drawing materials or pencil or whatever. I'll I'll figure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put captions over here and over here. It's gonna be funny, and you're all gonna laugh because she's trying to make us not draw because I should be studying as always. But I'm making a tutorial for you guys instead. Yay! It's funner and 
and I have energy right now, so may as well put it into uh, not school, right? <laughs> ah! 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 Yeah, I need to do that tonight. Okay. Speaking of which, the uh, ten-minute mark is approaching rapidly, which means I will need to be finishing this part of me talking because 15 minutes is my limit now well, yeah I think that's about it um, I'm just going to finish off the rest of the drawing with uh, you know outlining and coloring and oh she's gonna get clothes too by the way she's not naked by any means and uh, yeah all the finishing stuff and I'm pretty much done talking now so uh, let you watch the rest of this. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in this the comment section below. I'll get back to you within a couple of days. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Spudges are cool. And uh, take care. Bye.